Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Walking to Class, the podcast with your host, Dr. Dina C. Brown. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is an amazing Wednesday. I call it Wake Up Wednesday. And I am so honored and pleased to come before you and share a little bit of Wednesday. I know it's so hard saying that. Wednesday wisdom here on Walking Through Class of the podcast. This has been an amazing few days and I've taken a semi-summer hiatus from the daily dose of vitamin Dr. D and that summer hiatus is just cutting back on the days but really giving you more um, of the meat so I'm going to play around with um, the days but I know that I do like Wednesday right I like that Wednesday and that Friday that Wednesday because it's our wake up Wednesday and that Friday because it's our focus forward Friday before we actually hit the, the weekend and I am going to start with posting my conscious conversations on Monday. I think that they're a great way to kick off the Mondays. And so I'm playing a little bit around with that. I'd love to hear um, your thoughts because I want to build back in um, that consistency. But I also want to make sure that the information that is coming to you, that inspiration, those nuggets are exactly what you need to do whatever it is that you need to live your very best life today. So the last time that I did a live episode, I talked about moving when God says move and that you will have a nudging and edging in your actual spirit and you know that you're supposed to take action on that. But, and I say but knowing that everything that came before the but is negated when you say that and that's intentional you fail to continue to move and to take action. So really that movement is negated because you don't build momentum and then you play around with that. So I don't know about you, but I think about myself in this season of entrepreneurship. I did a Facebook live the other day. And if you're not following me on Facebook, you can definitely follow at lead her shift a i'm sorry at sign l e a d h e r s h i f t at leadership on facebook you can follow me at leadership movement on instagram and to follow me again to really get a lot of my daily and personal insights at dr dina speaks d r d e e n a s p e a k s Dot com, Dr. Dina Speaks. And when you click the link um, in my bio, and I will put it actually in the bio for Walking Through Glass, the podcast, you can actually use the link tree and just kind of pick uh, and choose where it is that you want to kind of plug in and, and catch up to. So, and that's a whole nother um, discussion for another day of how do we optimize our time um, to do that. But part of our optimizing our time deals with what this one thing that I was sharing uh, on Facebook the other day. And I know that as I was sharing it, it was really speaking to me because this is the things that I speak to myself. And so what I did ask, I asked all of the viewers, I pretty much said, what is the most, the single most ingredient that's not the single most important ingredient for entrepreneurs and actually in life? Because at first I was starting to talk about this journey called entrepreneurship. But then as I really boiled it down, I realized that this ingredient is not just key for entrepreneurship. It is extremely important for life as we know it. And what that ingredient is, is our mindset. How is our mindset shaping our day? How is it setting the course? And, and I'll tell you something a little bit funny. I did a little test today. And if you don't really think that you got to move and you don't start to speak life into yourself and set your intentions at the top of the day, you are mistaken. I want you to try this. So usually I have like five different 
um, rankings, I call it, of my alarm bells. One to kind of get me going, the other one to kind of wake me up, and the next one to kind of, you know, put me in that comatose state. And then what I usually do is I lay there for a little bit before I do my devotional prayer and meditation. And then once I finish that, if I don't really start moving and I don't have appointments very first thing in the morning, like this morning, I have to take my car in at 7 a.m. So I knew that my morning was going to be a little bit different for me. So here's, here's, here's seriously, no lie, no chaser. And I used to do this before, but I had stopped. As soon as my alarm went off, I used to swing my legs over the bed and I would just sit up. Okay. And what that did was it got me into movement mode, knowing that today I have objectives, I have goals. I can't really, you know, um, just lounge around. I literally have to get up when the alarm goes off the first time, not after the four and five times. So I actually took off all those bonus alarms, um, to reprogram myself to actually moving (laughs) at the right time, as opposed to having these false starts, you know, where I'm not called to move, right? Okay. I don't know if you caught that is that I turned off all those pre alarms to get me ready for getting up instead begin to speak life into my movement and said you're gonna move when it's time to get up and this is what it looks like when you hear the alarm you're going to move so here's the juicy on it okay is that as I start thinking about that how I went from getting up when the alarm went off and starting to move starting I would jump up go to the shower go to the bathroom I literally would physically move so then they would set my intention I'd be kind of going for the day I didn't want to curl back into the covers I didn't want to stay in the bed I didn't start playing with my phone I didn't start reading my emails I didn't start looking at Facebook I didn't start doing all of that stuff I literally would start moving and so I thought about life and I thought about how many false starts and pre alarms do we set for ourselves? And that we keep saying, I'm getting ready to get ready. I'm getting ready to get ready. So we know we need to move, we start the process, and then we boil down the process of getting ready literally into. Really, I'm kind of getting ready to get ready because I'm not quite yet ready. And then when it doesn't work out or your opportunity is not what you thought it was, it's not happening the way in which in the manner in which you needed it to happen, you blame it on, oh, it wasn't for you. Yeah, it was for you, but you just failed to move and to build momentum in that movement to actually not just stay the course, but push through the actual course. So with that being said, I thought about everything that's happening in my life and that even in the midst of the understanding and the knowing and building the mindset and the capacity for entrepreneurship, blended entrepreneurship, career advancement, whatever, this is again, entrepreneurship in life, is that you have to rethink train your brain is what I like to call it in to operating at its optimal for you and for what you need so in this season I need to be bold take moves make moves keep going you know stay the course in the valley of we call the valley of death when you know you think that success is a straight line it's not it has dips and roads and valleys and hills and sometimes when you hit the bottom of the valley and things just don't look right you look to the right to the left and things are surrounding you and caving in on you and you need to stay the course well if you stop moving okay picture this if you stop moving picture a person getting ready to take that leap over that little valley right or that little, I, I think about the movie movies when the stump man has to take a leap and they're going to jump over that bridge, right? That bridge is standing kind of up there and it's one, both sides to raise. It's the middle, crack in the middle and the bad guy doesn't want them to get to the other side. And so what they do is, and I've seen this and think about some of your favorite movies oh, that happens a lot in the Die Hard movies. You're running, running, running. You see, oh my God, oh heck, 
it's lifted, there's a space, there's a gap, I gotta jump. And then you stop. Now, here's things that we do. Sometimes we're stopping, we start looking over into the valley. And we start seeing that sense of hopelessness that if we do take the leap, we're going to fall. That we're going to go down into that pit and we're not going to get up. But that is not the truth. You see, if we would have kept running, and then you look at the other guy, that hero in the movie, that, that guy that takes risks, the ones that, you know, just you just keep going, why does he keep trying? Oh, he broke his nose. Oh, he hurt his arm. And he's still doing that. You're just going on and on about this person who's had all these starts. And what do they do? They see that bridge started racing, rising, and whether they're in a car or on foot, they hit the gas pedal. They hit the gas pedal. They keep moving. And they move faster and faster and faster until they build momentum and then they leap. And they leap and you are just praying, you're rooting for them that they make it to the other side. Now sometimes, you know, those very agile individuals, and I think about my star ski and hutch days, they jump over to the next next roof and some of them, you have one person that makes it with a nice clean jump and the next person that barely makes it and they're hanging on to the ledge. But here's the thing, they jumped and they made it. They didn't stay stuck. They did not fall off the building. They did not fall in the water. They did not fall into the valley. So here's my big takeaway today on this Wake Up Wednesday. And as I'm talking to you, I am talking to me too. Is that in the midst of it all, when you're building and God says move, and instead of getting ready to get ready, you are already in the process. You keep moving. You keep taking the steps. You keep trusting. You keep believing. You keep doing the actions necessary. Because you know this is what you're called to do. You do the next thing and the next thing that keeps building momentum. And if it doesn't go right and some sticks, then you kind of race back. You kind of step back. You take a look at it. Okay, I'm going to attack it this way. And I'm going to keep moving, keep moving. And I'm going to keep building momentum. And also, here's something else that you need to know and understand when you're in the midst of it is that no one ever said that you couldn't have a support system no one ever said that you know what how come you don't grab a ladder why are you out there jumping and trying to jump up to I think of now like the little movies when they're in the city and they're trying to get to the little fire escape um, and they need to pull down the ladder to climb to the top of the building to get to the other side so what ladders do you have in your life to help you keep climbing. You don't have to do this alone. We are on the same journey, but we take different paths. We do have to understand that as we embrace all that we're called to do, there's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. There's going to be times when we don't want to go. But if you just keep moving, you build momentum. And it's the momentum that keeps you and helps you take that leap to get to the other side where now you're smiling and you begin to see success and with that success you begin to build significance so that you can leave a lasting legacy so I was really passionate today because I had to have a good start in talking to myself honey and when I was sitting there thinking about that and I said God said move and now he's saying, keep moving. You got momentum. Because I think about any and every time I did not get the outcome that I really desired and I knew that I should have, I knew and I know it was directly related to me choosing not to move and continue to stay in motion so that I built momentum. And even though there's a rock in the road and it gets in your shoe, you pull it out and you keep going. You hop on one foot if necessary. So, if this episode blessed you, if this episode spoke life in some way, shape, or form into your life, then I ask for you to share it with someone that needs momentum. They need to move. They need to keep moving. They need to stay the course. They need to get through and over that valley. So, I appreciate you, and I am so happy that you 
have joined me on today's Daily Dose of Vitamin Dr. D. And um, I look forward to the next one. So please make sure you share and stay tuned for more to come. Have a great one. Bye-bye.